Assalamualaikum and a very good day. Today, our company, Pro Pump Company, will explain to you our new design of pump. This presentation will be presented by Shafi, Yongi, Afi, and myself, Anis. We will explain to you our new design of pump that can increase the fluid flow rate by 25% from the current process, which operate at 24 meter cube per hour on a hygienic product. Before we go to the details, a few things that we need to consider is the selection of pump itself and the selection of electrical motor. Careful pump selection is required to avoid some problems such as sanitation. We also need to consider uh, the cost of the design which are demand a low cost, high efficiency, uniform discharge, the installation and maintenance should be easy. This design also should able to run at a high speed without the, the risk of separation flow. Next, we will go to the basic concept of centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pump consists of the impeller have, that have a series of which rotate at a, at a specific speed to generate a centrifugal force of the water particle and water will move readily out since the rotation of the mechan mechanical energy is transferred to the fluid. Thus, pressure and kinetic energy will rise. The impeller has a backward curve, which uh, backward curving, which is the blade angle is less than 90 degree. It used to it used for fast speed application and also design aerodynamic, which will give a very great performance for the pump. For the casing, it has an increasing area along the flow direction which helps to convert velocity into a pressure and it also directs the liquid into the impeller region and transport it away under high pressure. For the self-priming pump, it is described a centrifugal pump that uses an, an air-water mixture to reach a fully primed pumping condition. Self-priming refers to a starting of the pump under the condition that the suction does not need to be filled with water but must have enough water in the body. This pump will create a partial vacuum to discharge water while also get rid of the air. Throughout the priming cycle, air into, air into the pumps and mixed with the water in the impeller that rotates at the fast speed, as well as an eye that suctions water will create the centrifugal force through the rotation to import energy to the fluid. The difference between the self priming pump and centrifugal pump uh, each time the centrifugal pump starts, the intake pipe and the pump body should be filled with water at the same time. While in the self-priming pump, the water should be injected only for the first time it started. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dura. I am Leongi and I would like to present the calculation part. For the calculation part, we need to find the pressure drop, the head value and the MPSH value. So by using the data and the pipe pump system manual, we can calculate that the head value is 45.41 meter. So we need to test the specific pump by using their performance curve. The first pump that we test is PPS2030 with two poles and 50 hertz. So from the graph, when the head is 45.41 meter and the flow rate is 30 meter cube per hour, the head is actually exit the maximum head of the specific pump so that this pump is rejected. Secondly, we test for the TPS2030 with two poles and 60 hertz. So when the head is 45.41 meter, the flow rate that can supply from this pump is only 20 meter cube per hour. So this flow rate is too low and does not fulfill the requirement. This is also rejected. Thirdly, we test for the TPS3050 with two posts and 50 hertz. So from the data from the graph, we can know that the flow rate, the maximum flow rate of this pump is 45 meter cube per hour with the efficiency of 44%. Last, we test for the TPS3050 with two posts and 60 hertz. So from the table, we can know that the maximum flow rate of this pump is 47.5 meter cube per hour with the efficiency of 40%. So actually, these two pumps can be considered to use in the system. However, we need to compare by using the summary table so that we can choose the best centrifugal pump that is used in the system with high efficiency and low required motor power and this can be bring the manifest to our company. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Muhammad Afibul Oman. I will talk about centrifugal pump design project, pump specification and discussion. This is the table content. 
So the centrifugal pump TPS 30502 volts have 50 hertz and 60 hertz one. The 50 hertz one is 44% more efficient than the 60 hertz, which is 40% efficient only. The 50 hertz also require less motor power, which is which is 12.5, than the 60 hertz, which is 14.5. Thus, this show that the 50 hertz centrifugal pump is the best choice and the most suitable pump that can be used for our project. Next, we this is the centrifugal pump overall description. Uh, from the table below, we have chosen a uh, higher motor power, which, which is 15 kilowatts, compared to the 12.5 kilowatt before, because of safety purpose. Why do we choose the uh, Tanchahagen hygienic pump? Because it's, it is economically, sustainably, and service oriented. So we put a two pole. We choose a two pole motor compared to the Four pole motor because it has a good noise performance and it has higher net positive suction head required and two pole motor is more efficient than four pole motor so we conclude that two pole motor gives more advantage to the user and the and the centrifugal pump has a non self forming and self forming self forming means that it can overcome one of the most common problems people face with the non self forming ones, which is the issue of air binding by mixing air with water to produce a fluid with pumping quality similar to individuals of standard water. The pump then will eliminate the environment and move water only, as being a standard centrifugal pump. That's all for me, thank you. My name is Ahmad Shafiq Ben Zuhairi and I will explain on the motor selection for the pump. What need to be considered in selecting motor for the pump? First, we need to know the output power, the frame size, the efficiency class, the mounting type, the insulation class, the voltage rating, the frequency and top speed of the rotating impeller. So, this table shows the specification of motor required by the by TPS3050 pump. First, we need to know the mounting type of the pump. The mounting type of the pump is B3B5 or B35. It is foot and flange mounted. So, the mounting type of the motor must be B35 as well. Next, the ingress protection of the pump is IP55. IP55 gives complete protection against accidental contact, against harmful dust deposits, and against non heavy seas or strong jets. So, the motor selected must be IP55 or better. The efficiency class for the pump is IE3, also known as, also known as premium efficiency. For 15 kW pump, the efficiency, the efficiency is 92.1%. So this is the motor that we select for the pump. Marathon Squirrel Cage Induction Electric Motor. The model is, three, is TCA132MC02. It can run both at 60 at 50 Hz and 60 Hz. So from this table, the second column shows specifications of motor required by the pump. And third column shows the specification of selected motor. So the motor has IEC standard. It is three phase motor, give 15 kilowatt output power. The frame size is 132M. The, the efficiency class is IE3. The mounting type is B35. The ingress protection is IP55. The insulation class is class F. Insulation class is the maximum temperature of of the mo the maximum temperature of the motor's winding. So for class F, the maximum temperature is 155 degrees Celsius. The at 50 Hz, the voltage rating for the motor is 400 volts that can rotate at and can rotate at 2155 rpm. At 60 Hz, the voltage rating is 460 volt that can rotate at 3560 rpm. So, the estimated cost for both pump and motor for the pump, the, the estimated price will be around 1500 ringgit. And for the motor, the price will be around 640 ringgit. So the total estimated cost is 2140 ringgit.